Anyway, I could do this in the raspy voice I like to do, or I could do it another way, like just how I, you know, how I talk. I don't know how you like it, Dad, so I'll do it both. Uh, my best friend, it's you, Dad. Hella rad. For 41 years, I love you, Dad. You're hella rad. You're my best friend. And now let's do it the way I like to do it. My best friend, it's you, Dad. Hella rad. For 41 years, I love you, Dad. You're hella rad. You're my best friend. My first best friend and my best friend till the end. Uh, you're not one for poetry, but your son's a poet. Ah, uh, too bad I'm rad because I take after you. Not in every way, this is obviously true. But I'm a fighter like you, never give up like you. I uh, try hard like you, fail like you. Wait a minute, you never fail because you try, try again and try harder and harder and harder and then you overdo yourself once again. Everyone knows you're a winner. Some people call you a pimp. Pimp style is what they mean. You got style and it's clean. Anyway, like this. Once upon a time, a man had five kids. He tried his best and he always did. Kid number one died. A baby girl, she went quietly. And now we're on the earth. Now she's our angel Heidi. Kid number two, named after Daybreak. My older sister Dawn. Let's give her a song. Action. Kid number three, that's me, Dad, I'm three. Malcolm in the middle, the outcome is this delivery. Kid number four, that's my younger brother, Sean, the lovable farting father himself. He saved his wife's children and my older sister helped. Kid number five, the freak kid of the five. Never kissed a boy, never smoked away the pain. Anyway, his father of five, whose wife just went away, he had to do his best to raise his children in his own special way. Not perfect, far from it. My father wasn't perfect. That's the way it always goes. My father is superhuman, and it's true, everybody knows. So anyway, this man who raised these four children the best he could, and of course these four children had their mother and their other dad. This is Father's Day, so we're recognizing you dads. And of course, I'm recognizing you, John, my other dad. You were strict on us, that's for sure. Maybe sometimes too strict. But you taught me how to set a table so that the condition we're losing quick. And to say grace with dinner, a moment for thanks. So I'm thanking you this moment, John. That's right. You are my other dad. It's true. You've been here since I can remember. John, I love you with all my heart. Anyway, back to the father number one. To my father, the father, calculated hub. I spit proverbs from my tongue. I freestyle from once young. I I freestyle 40 and I freestyle at 41. 42, 43, 44, 45. I always freestyle. It's good to be alive. 46, 47, 48, 49. Freestyle with me. It's one hell of a time. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and of course 99. It's not greedy, Dad. Keep on living. Shine. Here's a little story about my dad. He wants to live to be 100 said this to me because just like most people he doesn't want to die obviously but one day he said I think 99 is fine and we're like I thought you wanted to be 100 dad he's like no 99 is fine 100 would be greedy ah and he's got a big 99 tattooed on his chest and it was a racing number on his car and you bet the guy had some cars remember those cars those shining cars like shining stars and a lot of people remember you like you dad the guy with the cars and i 
tell people about it and uh, whatever. Honky tonk at the bars. Anyway, I could freestyle all day. I could rap and I could shine. But I love you, Dad. You're one of a kind. Always special to me. You're always on my mind. And I love you, Dad, so much. You're my first best friend. Forever and ever and ever. No matter what. And you'll be my last best friend on this earth. Whichever one of us goes first. But still, forever, you'll be my first best friend, Dad. I love you. I love you, Dad. That's right.